Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. As we continue to celebrate art here on the Now Morning Show, we've been collaborating with the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago since May to bring you a different artist every single week. This week, we celebrate the work of Latoya Tid, and she joins us on set to discuss a little bit about her work. Good morning good to you, Latoya. Morning, good, good morning, good morning, Latoya. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you, first <laughs> of all, for blessing us with your work yeah. and gracing us with it for the entire week. We appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. But let me get into your business now. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Tell me, how did you get into art in the first place? Well, art was always something. I would say it was a part of my blood um, because my mother is an artist. And um, from ever since I was a child, I would always see her with acrylics and oil paints. And um, she would pass it on to me for me to experiment with. Mm. And then my dad will take us to a lot of art exhibitions, galleries, etc. So seeing that, it kind of, you know, it piqued my interest. Mm -hmm. And then um, my brother would also have a lot of those comic books. So he would pass the comic books to me and he would kind of challenge me and say, you know, draw this character. And then he will critique it. So based on that, you know, I think I could not have flowed in any other direction. <laughs> <other than that>. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like you've taken several directions, but um, <laughs> let, let's focus on the, on the art one for now. Sure. So, all right, you, you decided at what point to take it professionally to say, all right, this is the career path or one of the career paths that I'm going to go down. Um, I would say... Perhaps back in 2005, mm -hmm. um, that was when I joined the Art Society for about a couple of years. And because of the fact that they would have had these calls of submissions, I think that helped prompt me to say, well, okay, this is something that I want to do professionally. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was nonstop from ever since. Basically. Nice. Well, let's get into the art pieces. Sure. Um, one of the things that we're seeing behind us, I believe, is you would have been able to capture that sort of abolition of slavery that yes. we're seeing in the background there. But before we get into inspiration, tell us what sort of, of materials you use. You mentioned the acrylic. Do you also use oil and that sort of thing? Yes. Um, oil paints are my favorites. Mm. Um, I usually use oil paints for my paintings and um, canvas. Canvas right. is usually the, the other material that I use. Right. Um, from there, well, you know, I would have explored different things. So, for example, the one that you mentioned with the slavery piece. Birth of a stick fighter. I think that's Birth the one we're seeing on the screen right now. Yes. Um, I kind of went a little further into it this time yeah. um, by using clay on canvas. Ah. Um, because I wanted to have a different look in terms of the person protruding out of the canvas. Yes. You know, so um, this one was a bit of a push out of my comfort zone, so to speak. Um, now and again, I would use acrylic paints. Um, so the other piece with the puzzles, missing pieces, that one was acrylic paints yeah. because of the material. But just now, before, before we get into the missing pieces, I want to go back to, to the oil paints sure. um, that you said you use because I, I understand from the artists that have come here before that oil takes a little bit longer to dry mm -hmm. than, than the acrylic. So what makes that your favorite in particular? It makes it my favorite because it's always my aim to make something look realistic. Uh -huh. So the oil paints look more realistic than the acrylic paints? To me, yes. Okay. Um, I know that other artists will use the acrylic paints and they could achieve the same thing. Yeah. Um, but for me personally, I love oils. Um, so for that particular piece, you know, yes, I had to wait for it to dry. <laughs> um, it was a challenge, yes. Yeah. But, um, you know, because of the fact that I've been using it for quite some time, I'm kind of aware of how long it takes to dry and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so it was something that I still enjoyed doing, even though for that particular piece, it took a little bit longer um, because of the process that I needed to use for that piece. Right. Why also was it important to get the man sort of shooting out of the canvas, that sort of imagery that you wanted? What was the inspiration behind this one? Well, because of the fact that the theme was birth of a stick fighter, I know that birth is about coming out of something. Mm. So I didn't want to just do the natural way of painting it. Yeah. And honestly, my mother also inspired me to do that because she's the type of person to use different um, strange materials on top of the canvas. So she would have said, you know, I think clay would be a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was able to say, well, OK, let me make him the focal point. Yes. And then let me build him first. And then I worked on the background. Yeah. And you have some very interesting names for your pieces as well. I want us to take a look at Abandoned Beauty. Sure. Mm -hmm. Tell us the inspiration <laughs> for that one. Well, um, I was actually on a walk behind my school. And I saw this gate. Mm. And I looked at it and I said, this kind of tells a story. Because it looks as though something happened behind that gate 
many years ago. I know, Sane. Then... I recognize that incident. I wasn't what, what sure. Is that's this? in Belmont. Yes, it oh. is. I know. <laughs> I know. I recognize that gift. Yes, it is. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. So you're telling me that there's a story behind yes. the, 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 the gate. The gate or the property behind the well, gate? Well, for me, I just found that it was an interesting view mm -hmm. because there's this old rustic gate that is being overtaken by foliage. Yes. And that day was very sunny. The light was shining really nicely on the leaves, etc. And I was like, no, I have to take a photo of this. Mm. And when I did, I said, okay, this has to be done on a very large canvas. Yeah. And the rest is history. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And this well, one is oil or acrylic? Yeah. Oils. This is oil as well. That's I understand what you mean in terms of getting the textures, right? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. The, and and the people move on to missing pieces, yeah. though. Missing pieces. Because um, I am seeing some missing pieces in this <laughs> painting as well. Of course, tell us what you would have used and the inspiration behind this one. So the first thing is that the, the theme missing pieces is a bit of a play on words because the pieces aren't really missing, it's there. Mm -hmm. So when you actually look at the edges of the foreground and you see the upper area, it can actually match. So it's really just for it to connect. So ah. behind the name of the piece is really to say that um, it was really based on the overall theme of mental health. Right. So um, we know that the beach has this very therapeutic nature. Yes. Yes. And the whole idea behind doing a piece like that was to say that many times when, you know, we might be stressed, frustrated, etc., just a trip to the beach can actually make us mm. reconnect. So the lower part, which would be the foreground, if you reconnect, you will actually be able to say, well, okay, I'm in a better frame of mind. Mm -hmm. I'm connecting with nature. It's and that's almost like you're idea. back to whole. Yes, yes, exactly. Love it. Love it. And Thank speaking you. of reconnecting, um, <laughs> we have the next one is Archbishop Anthony Panton. Yeah. Yes. Tell me why, why you chose to paint him. Well, um, again, the theme for that one was to consider an icon. Mm. Um, and a local one at that. Mm. So I thought about, you know, we have many. And I said, okay, Archbishop Panton, I remembered my last encounter with him. I was a little child. Um, and I said that he has done so much for our community in terms of, you know, helping the disadvantaged, etc. Yeah. And um, I also am an artist that like a lot of detail. <laughs> so I figured, you know, um, doing this particular piece where someone who has done so much, um, I want to be able to give it a try. Um, and I wanted to do it with the whole background, with the altar, with the um, with the candles and everything in it. Stained so, glass yeah. windows Stained and everything. Stained glass windows and everything. <laughs> I went all in. Nice one. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned that detail, and I could see it coming through, I think, in your final piece this morning, Birds of a Feather. You went all in with I this did. one. What material did you use for this? And, of course, is it that you took a photo? Did you do live painting? How was this one? So this one was actually um, found in our garden. Mm. Um, it was in a plant. So we saw these two doves in our plant. And I decided, I said, I wonder if it will make me get close enough to take a photo. And they did. Mm. So um, I went in very closely and yeah. I took a photo of the birds and um, from there, I said, well, you know, I want to do a painting with these birds for sure. Um, so the medium used for this one would be the same thing, oils again, yes. you know, um, and I wanted to do it large. So there's some pieces where I say, well, you know, this is something that needs to be done on a large canvas as opposed to a smaller one. Mm -hmm. So um, this one here, I wanted to really get in any details with the feathers because I love doing birds. Birds are one of my favorite subject matter. <laughs> and I think we so, could definitely yeah. see it coming through. I mean, Latoya, let me thank you so much for joining us this morning. If we have to contact you, I'm sure our viewers would want to commission a piece pretty soon. Sure. <laughs> How can we find you? So I am on Instagram at Latoya Abbey. Right, Latoya Abbey. Latoya and Abbey. if I'm not mistaken, you're a teacher as well. Yes, I am. Ah, yes, visual I am. arts. Yes. No, actually, no, Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> no, no she did, you did some visual arts as well. Yes, yes at one yeah. point in time, right. but that's been a while. Because yeah. <laughs> you, you seem to love art so much, I'm surprised that you're not teaching it right now. But but I yes, guess we can see what's happening in, yes, the, in the future, yes. right? <laughs> well, Latoya, let me thank you so much for joining us this morning. All thank the best you. with your art. And I know that we're going to be seeing your pieces pretty soon again. Thank you so much for the opportunity. You're welcome. And so we're thanking Latoya Ted, our artist, for joining us this morning. We're also thanking the Art Society of TNT for partnering us every week as we feature a new artist on our art series exhibit on Now. You're on the Now Morning Show. We're going to take a break and be right back. Stay with us.